Hey guys, so in one of our earlier videos, we decided we were going to do a dorm tour when we were over with break, and now break is over, and we're going to do a dorm tour today. Alright, so here's my room. Okay, so first things first, Southern actually has like a ton of closet space, so that is awesome for me. Um, I obviously share my room with my roommate, so I get these two top drawers, which are just, they're really shallow drawers, and then I get these two gigantic long drawers, and it actually holds a lot of clothes, plus I also have an entire closet which they're actually pretty big. Along the bottom here I have, you know, storage stuff, book bags, shower stuff, and then along the top there is a whole another storage space. There's even space along the top. It's really messy, don't judge me. <laughs> I can't reach up there, I'm too small. <laughs> um, and they give you a space to put your TV. If you don't want a TV, there's a mirror behind it, so I guess that's nice. Um, other than that, the floors are tile, so you may want a rug or a carpet or something to cover them. And over here, <laughs> this is my bed, and it's an extra long twin size bed, so you have to get like special sheets and stuff for it. Um, I actually got this comforter from Dormco. Um, I think it's dormco.com and it was only like $26 so if you're looking for a comforter that's a great place to go. Uh, Southern provides you with a fridge freezer combo and a microwave so you don't have to buy either of those. It comes with the room which is awesome. Um, I guess I could show you in here. We just got some... We don't have a lot in there, actually. Just Gatorade. We just have some Gatorade. Um, freezer just has some frozen meals, some frozen cookies. I don't know why. <laughs> um, and then, you know, microwave. I don't know. All microwaves are kind of the same. Um, and then I just have a Canon printer, because you need a printer unless you want to pay 25 cents a page and go to the library to print your stuff. It also, they come with a chair and a desk, and I would recommend one of these things that holds your books because it's like super nice. And you could put them up here, but most books don't fit in this small space here, so I just put them down here because this has the biggest space. We also have a bunch of fish now. So we have, he's hiding, but, I have my fish, Fred. It's a beta fish. We have... My fish, Finn. He's also a beta. He doesn't move. <laughs> he goes into comas periodically. <laughs> and we've got two of these Molly fish up here. This Oreo colored one is Pau. And the white one... Where are they? She's, she's on the move. The white one is named Crystal, so it's Paul and Crystal. <laughs> They're cute. They are cute. Uh, other than that, a lot of these storage bin things come in handy because you just have so much shit to put everywhere that you just need places to put it. <laughs> um, it also comes with a little pull-out drawer to keep, you know, whatever you want in there, I guess. It doesn't come with drawers in the desk, so just be aware of that. These chairs aren't that bad. They're pretty comfy. Yeah, I don't really sit in them often, though, so. The next good thing about these rooms is that they have the beds propped up pretty high. So you have tons of underneath storage here. We've got hampers, a box of clothes, <laughs> ottoman, Gatorade, water is way back there. So, there's a lot of storage underneath, 
You can put it higher if you want, you can bunk the beds, you can pretty much do whatever you want, set the room up how you like. We just kept it with this setup because I feel like it has the most area in the middle to work with so it makes the room seem bigger and this is the setup that most people choose to keep. These rooms don't have a lot of outlets but they, I mean they have a decent amount but you, for the amount of things that we need in this day and age you're gonna need a lot more outlets than they have here. So I just have one of these power strips with like, you know, 10 outlets in it or whatever and this is what results. <laughs> It's just a pile of wires, and it makes me very mad. But, I mean, there's not much we could do about it, so. <laughs> I have to live with that. Speaking of wires. Yeah, there's, just... that's all from our PS4, Wii U, cable box, like, TV. It's great. It's wonderful. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that's about it. There's not really a lot to show. The rooms are sort of small. But, uh, you know, there, it's decent amount of space. It's actually a livable space. You don't get too cramped as long as you don't bring excessive amounts of things. And you can decorate the walls however you want. You can't put tacks in the walls. You can't bring candles. But um, Silly Putty works fine. Um, tape. You could tape things to the walls. The walls, you actually can't even stick anything in the walls because they're brick. Yeah, they're brick. But there is this cool little um, pegboard over here that you can hang things with, but I don't really know what goes in those. I guess if you find, like, pegs that can fit in there, I guess you could hang something from there. But um, I'll put pictures up of the room and things that are on my wall things that I've made here and if you want a more in-depth room tour I can do another one if you would like there's not much to show but I guess I could show like in my drawers and stuff mm -hmm. if you were interested <laughs> and I think that's it thanks for watching